Well, the IEC has a very big. Um, um, they have to prove themselves. They have a, a very, very, you know, big stage that they are on, and we are. We will be watching them very, very closely. We were worried yesterday. I mean, there were a number of stations that didn't open on time. There were a number of instances where people's special votes were not put into the correct envelopes. There were instances where they didn't have voters' roll at voting stations in the morning. There were instances where voters' roll were not in the right, um, you know, sequence. Uh, there were instance, instances where um, presiding officers were becoming biased already. And we've already reported that. Fortunately, we've got report back that you know the four that we have report, out of the nine that we have reported had been resolved, and the presiding officers had been actually removed from their station. So, well, we know that they will try. Um, we know we've seen that a number of times, even in a number of by-elections where they were feeling threatened. We've seen them trying to pass people who are not staying in the ward or even in the city. They were bringing them from outside in the Brest area into 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 the city into the city to come and register. So we know that there will be tricks that they will they will want to play. But ours is to be vigilant in terms of how we got the processes, but also how then the IEC will behave will be very telling. Remember, if they if if they manage to rig elections right now and they successfully do so, then what you know what lies ahead in the in the upcoming um, national and provincial elections if if they are going to start that right now.